I don't know if it's gonna work. Not everything has been smooth sailing when it comes to our boat interior build so far. We're gonna have to get a little creative moving forward. This week, we're starting to build our sailboat's galley and it transforms our interior in the most shocking way. This is Luke and I'm Lori and our boat is coming to life thanks to our Patreons and viewers like you. And if you want to see what we're going to be cooking up in our new galley one day, subscribe to our channel, like this video and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. As you remember, our galley was here on the port side and it was this really tiny L and was quite cramped. What we want to do is throw ours to the starboard side because now our head is here and we want to make it twice as big. That's right, we're not only moving our galley to the other side of our sailboat, but we're also going to make it even bigger. Now how are we going to increase the size of our galley in our little 34 foot boat without compromising everything else or making our boat feel like one big cooking area? Well, we're going to push it all the way back, below the main deck that cuts into the headspace of the main cabin. The original galley pretty much dominated the aft living space, and the only benefit it had was an okay sized cabinet on the countertop. But we still had some doubts about our design. idea work? So to get a better feel for the space, the guys created a mock-up of the countertop so we could see what it looked like in place. At the time, we didn't even have a soul installed, so you had to use a fair amount of imagination. But we were feeling really good about the size once Davison helped us install it. Now we're working on modeling the galley, the kitchen of our sailboat, and we're building everything off of that mock-up countertop you saw on the boat. We're trying to figure out the space we'll have around it. We really like the size of the mock-up and now we have to figure out how the cabinets will work. Where the stove is going to be? Where does the sink go? Where does our refrigerator and freezer fit? And how do we take advantage of that space in the back of the countertop? So we're working with Leo right now to answer those questions about how we can utilize the space the best. Then he is going to model this on the computer so we can build it. With that out of the way, our design was sent to the CNC machine to be cut out. All that's left to do is to put the pieces together. And that's where Eduardo comes in. But you can call him Junior. He is a master carpenter here at Mobile Mar and he has been working in the field for 17 years. He's thoughtful and meticulous and has over a hundred puzzle pieces to assemble to make our galley. So I gave him a helping hand. What drives us to create, to build? What is it about the act of shaping materials, pouring our time and energy into crafting something with our own hands or with the help of others that gives us an indescribable sense of deep satisfaction? Making things isn't just about getting things done, it's an art form, an adventure of self-discovery and expression. Take, for example, the process of creating this wood interior for our sailboat. It's an endeavor that combines the love of craftsmanship, the connection to nature, and the desire to make it our own. Wood, with its natural warmth and elegance, invites us to create a space that reflects our individuality. 
It's not just about functionality, it's about crafting an environment that resonates with our spirit, an extension of who we are. We are bringing our vision to life, our personality with every detail, every cut, every joint is a labor of love, a testament to our dedication to completing this dream of ours. We can see why people like Eduardo and Fernando dedicate their lives to their trade. Building something from scratch takes patience, perseverance, and a deep connection to the materials. This kind of dedication is like an intimate relationship, a dance between creator and creation. It's a journey of trial and error where each setback becomes a valuable lesson and every success fills your heart with joy. And when the job is finally complete, when you step back and admire your creation, it's a moment of pure satisfaction. After all, this is not just a boat. It's a work of art, a, a testament to human ingenuity, the continuous trust in others, and the courage to try. So why do we love building? It's because Building is a profound act of self-expression, a way to leave our mark on the world. It's a, the embodiment of our creativity, our passion, and our desire to shape our surroundings. Doing things on your own is hugely empowering, but also working with a team and needing to communicate your ideas, your abstract thoughts, and make them real. This is a really fulfilling challenge as well. As artists, we've often needed to articulate our inspirations to others. Now, it does help a lot if your teammates are as talented as these guys. The creation of an idea is just as much part of the art form as the end result. So if you have an idea, don't let what you know or you don't know keep you from realizing your dreams because you could be just one helping hand away from success.
Whether it's a sailboat, a piece of furniture, or any creation that stirs your soul, embrace the joy of building. Build with purpose, build with love, and let your creations become a testament to the beauty of your own imagination. been cutting everything out with a CNC and all of these amazing cuts are perfect and when we assembled the piece outside it was fast and looked amazing. The worst part was just trying to figure out where every piece was like a puzzle but now that we've got it in here it highlights how irregular shaped our boat is. Not necessarily our boat, but it has so many strange angles and because we made this, there's no there's no plan out there that says this is the perfect measurement, throw it into the computer and it spits out the perfect cut piece. So everything is a little bit off and it actually takes more time for us to fit the perfectly cut CNC piece into place than it does is if we cut the piece perfectly by hand in the first place. So this is gonna be the last piece that we cut with the CNC. They're gonna actually move forward and continue using these templates that they were using. Remember, they take this wood and they create actual templates in the perfect size possible. And then they take their template, they put it on the wood and cut it. Um, this is going to be the way we're going to move forward in the future, though, like we said, the CNC is a great um, option for boats or for furniture in your house that are more precise. Um, but when it comes to this angle, we'd have to scan this entire boat perfectly, throw that into the machine, and then have that measured in order to cut out pieces that would fit perfectly in here. So we're going to move forward doing a little bit more by hand. is looking like now and it is in three different parts so let me show you this is the the top part so this is going in but as you can see when it comes to the design process there's some things that you can like account for and there's some little details like this triangle thing I don't know if you can see it like this triangle thing that you're not always gonna get on the computer because it's just too fine of a detail. So we're building this in and we're actually going to line it up and then cut these specialized little triangles so that we can get this hanging back. It's actually gonna be lifted up as well because we need a little space when it comes to the countertop. Now this is also gonna have doors are gonna kind of open up on either side. This area is for things that we use the most, like the spices or coffee or anything that we grab, maybe even silverware. My, maybe we'll put that here because it's the thing that's the easiest and most accessible. And then here, we're gonna have a little organic trash can. Here is going to be our enormous freezer. It's crazy big and we're super happy because we've lived so long without a freezer so far that this is going to be our first and biggest freezer um, in years. We also have this like wonderful space, this like a little triangle area for tall things. 
bottles or uh, we can create like a liquor cabinet or something. Uh, we don't drink much, but if we want to, the space is here. And then here is our, we're thinking a trash can area with cleaning products and everything can be back here. This is our sink and we want a little tiny cabinet for like the, the sponge and everything. Here we're probably gonna have food storage. These little spaces are very strange. We're thinking about having like flip up, flip open like triangle areas to utilize every single place because it's super important. We want to utilize every inch, every centimeter on this boat and not leave anything closed off and unused. Here we also have a large and very deep space. It's about 50 centimeters. Behind me is going to be a box where we're gonna have storage as well. And the refrigerator is gonna be here. So it's gonna be a tall refrigerator and then we're gonna have some storage on top. Now, in our perfect world, our refrigerator was embedded behind here in the wall in the machine room. But unfortunately, once we finished the hull, we realized that it just doesn't work. The curve of the hull up and on the side prevents anything from being in there. So it's gonna be out here, but that's cool because it reflects our other bulkhead. And so it's gonna be kind of a mirrored bulkhead here. And we're gonna have a refrigerator. And then we're gonna have some extra storage in this little area here as well. So lots coming along with our galley. It's still in the works, as you can see, that they're still working on getting it into place. It's not totally in place right now. They still have to cut a little bit out for it to get inside of this frame or cut it down because as you can see here, it's not fully in place. But we're pleasantly surprised because on the design, it looks it looks like a small passageway, but it's actually quite expansive, quite open, and feels really good and airy. What we're really shocked about is everything is a design in your head. You concept things, you hope that they're going to look nice. But the feeling that we're really utilizing and, and expanding on the space than it was before. If you remember the space before, it was just just a bunch of uh, a couple of benches, the navigation desk and the kitchen and everything felt really cramped. Of course it was dark and the ceiling was a little bit lower, the superstructure was lower, but it didn't feel like you had much going on other than a couple of benches. This has so much going on and it still feels big, expansive. It still feels wonderful so far hold my breath because I'm all breath because once we get the benches in it's gonna feel a little bit tighter but so far we're pleasantly surprised about how this galley is fitting in the space and let me take a step back for you to see it makes the boat look bigger doesn't it I mean I, I really thought it was gonna come in there and it was gonna feel like it was taking over everything and we're really pleasantly surprised about the size and how it fits in there so Great progress so far. We're super happy and we're going to keep going.